Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Talk channel on YouTube. Today we have a very interesting trick problem here. We're asked to find tangent of two angles uh, adding together, and we're given some additional information, a clue of S and T for each one of the angles. So the first thing we're going to do is going to find tangent, because I, as you know, in order to use the formula, which is tangent of A plus B, Okay, tangent follows, so plus tangent B, and then one minus tangent A, tangent B here. Okay, so in order to use this formula, we will have to know each uh, tangent value of S and T. So let's find that. In quadrant one, cosine is one third, so let's draw it out. Okay, this is a one, um, let's see, this is the one, this is a three, so this one radical eight, which is two radical two. Since it's in quadrant one, tangent is positive, and tangent of s in this case is equal to radical eight. Okay, so we're just going to leave it there. And let's take a look at sine. Sine is in quadrant four, so tangent is going to be negative. Okay, so I have a one, and here's a two. So this one is going to be a radical of three because it's a four minus one is radical three, and it's going to be negative. Okay, so this is t. So tangent of t is negative uh, one over radical three. You can rationalize it, but it, um, I wouldn't re recommend at this stage. Once again, I took the clue over here. It's one and two. It's in quadrant four, so it's technically minus one. Okay, tangent in quadrant four is negative as well. So all I went to is I found the value for this. From there, it's a pretty interesting uh, straightforward from here. X plus t, like I said before, it's tangent of s plus tangent of t, and then divided by product of the two. Okay, so let's substitute in there. I have a feeling the whole problem is really about how good you can simplify this. Tangent of s, as we found earlier, is radical 8, okay, minus 1 over radical 3. 1, it's going to be plus because minus and minus is going to be plus. Okay, so from here, majority, 90% of the work is done as far as trick-wise. Now we need to simplify this so we can have a better looking answer. Let's multiply the conjugate on the top and bottom. So y minus radical 8 over 3, y minus 8 over 3 radical. The reason I'm doing that is I want to get rid of the radical on the bottom. Okay, so I have 1 squared minus the square, which is 8 over 3. Okay, I no longer have any radicals. On the top, we've got to be careful a little bit. Okay, so we have to multiply term by term. Okay, so 8 and 1, I have a radical 8. Let's write it down. Next to 1, I have a minus 8 on top, radical 3 on the bottom, because when I multiply radical 8 and a radical 8 on top, the radical disappears. Next to 1, I have a radical 8 on top, I have a 3 on the bottom, because I have radical 3, radical 3, and it's a minus sign. Last one is going to be a plus sign. Okay, let's see. 1, 2, okay. Then minus, I missed the one here, so I have a, this one is actually plus, and then I missed the one, the one I missed is this term. Okay, let's make sure I have everything. So this one goes there, that's perfect. This one goes in there, that's this term. This one times this one is this one and that I missed, and this one times this one is the positive. All right, everything looks good. It's a good idea to double check. So now we have a radical eight, uh, let's see, we have minus uh, this one minus this one, I have a 9, radical 3, okay, and then I have a plus this one, and that gives me a 4 over 3, okay, it's pretty messy here. Uh, y minus this one on the bottom will give me 5 over 3, and that's a pretty easy one, okay, let's see, that's take one more step and then we're going to clean this up a little bit. So it's 4 radical 8 at 3 minus 9 radical 3. Okay, let's do one more step. So 4 over 3 radical 8 minus 9 radical 3. We're going to multiply by a minus 3 over 5. Okay. 
And this times 3 cancels out, so I have a minus, uh, let's see, 3345, okay, times radical 8, which is 2 radical 2. And then I have minus, this one is going to be 9, 5, and then I have a 3 on top times radical 3 over 3. Okay, so radical 3 on the bottom. So I basically clean it up. So here's the final answer. Okay, so I have a minus uh, 8 over 5, radical 2. Um, this one should be a plus sign. Plus 9 over 5, uh, not radical 3. Okay, that's the final answer. Hope this helps, and have a confident day.